How difficult is it to create a book that generates over $30,000 in revenue per year? Now, don't get this confused with the amount of money that you would make as an author, because you need to take in consideration the percentage of cut that Amazon would be taking, roughly 70%, and then you've also got advertising costs as well. So effectively, you might come away with eight or nine thousand dollars per year from this book even though it's generating thirty thousand dollars in sales regardless of that that's still a great income if you can generate a long-term passive income from creating books so let me show you some research that i've done finding books that are generating great passive income and then determining whether they're books that we can make as authors and publishers for amazon kdp let's get into it right now What we're gonna do in this video is to look at different children's books and try and dissect why they're doing so well. Are there books that are making five, ten thousand dollars per month that are relatively quite young, or do you need time and traction to get that kind of revenue? Let's do some research. So the two tools that I need to have up and going, we're gonna use KD Spy, which is just up the top here, which we'll use, and also Publisher Rocket down here. I'll also use my free Chrome extensions here, which is DS Amazon QuickView. And DS Amazon QuickView gives us the BSR rankings and the ASIN numbers down here. So what I'm gonna do is go to children's books. And then what I'm gonna do is let's go down Let's have a little bit of a look. Um, let's try Growing Up at Facts of Life. Let's try Health. Let's go to another one, Daily Activities. I wouldn't mind seeing if there's something, if we, oh, actually, let's have a quick look down here first and see if there's any themes that we should be looking at. So we go down, can't really see any. What I'd be interested in looking at is things to do with maybe oral health because I've previously had experience with oral health and dental in schools. So what I'm going to do is write, so we'll try this as a beginning book. So there's a thousand results under that particular keyword. What I'd normally do is do a caddy spy look into this particular keyword find out what the average sales rank is, determine what the profitability is, the competitive nature of this area, and what we need to make sure is that this is in books, and what I always do is a sales rank filter. I normally get rid of the bottom three because they might be books that haven't particularly done so well or might, might change the data set too much and won't give us an accurate reflection of maybe what this area is like. So an average sales rank of 100 under 100,000, which is ideal. You can see competition is moderate, potentially is really good, popularity is very good as well. What I now do is I'm going to have a look at the reviews and I think if we've got reviews under maybe 150, that will then give us an idea of books that we maybe can compete with. Because if there's reviews of 2,350 reviews, it's gonna be very hard for us to compete against if we're just starting out with a dentist book for kids. But if we look down here, we can see this one here, going to the dentist, we, it's got 100 reviews, 76,000 sales rank, estimated monthly revenue of 844. So I'm going to look at this book here, which is going to the dentist, independently published. So it's by an independent author. And what we're going to do is click on it. Let's have a look at a more of a deep dive. So we have a look at the description, 100 reviews. It was published back in 2022. So roughly two years ago now. So it's generated 100 reviews over two years, 76,000. 39 in children's personal hygiene books. So what we might do in a moment, we're going to go into this category. So we scroll up here. We have a look at the sample. So we can scroll down, have a look and see what's involved. That didn't really include a lot of information there, but I wouldn't think it'd be too detailed. Sometimes in the reviews, people include photographs. We can see here with the reviews. So you can see that. Poor grammar, poor quality. I 
Okay, so this reviewer has put details about the book in there, pages. Okay, so they've done that information there. So it looks quite simple the way they put it together. But these reviews are saying that it was really, really good. Verified purchases, which is really strong. A bunch of stock photos compiled in one book. So it shows you potentially there's been a few negative reviews, but overall it's been pretty good. And as I mentioned, I'm going to go to this category right here. And then this will bring up the personal hygiene books. And you can see Brush Brush is there. So it's another dental book, another dental book, another dental book, another dental book, another or another teeth book. So teeth or dental books are quite popular in this area. So it could be a great little niche to get into. I want to find out in Publisher Rocket whether these books for children, dentist books, are popular. So we're going to go to the keyword research. Uh, dental books kids. We'll just keep it to three words. Go get them Rocket. And we do this for each of the areas. We can see dental books for kids. Middle range in regards to the competitive nature of it. 1154, number of competitors under 1,000. Then we've got 28 pages on average. So most of them are pretty short books. Average price of $8. We click this button here. This will then take us to the uh, books that we're looking at and competing against. We can see their monthly sales. This book here, my friend Toothy, generating $2,600 monthly sales. Average BSR of one of 15,000. Average age, it's around about three and a half or two and a half years now. Uh, and if we scroll down further here, you can see these books are a lot older. And there's no reason though with this these books that you could probably look into it a bit further. So what we're going to do, we're going to check this one out here. So making monthly sales of two two thousand dollars, which is amazing for a book of forty one pages. We're going to go check it out, and then we can see this book. We go to read or read a sample, and we have a look through here. That looks like it's fairly fairly simply illustrated it too and it's talked about kids uh, brushing their teeth i don't think there's a lot in this kind of book but i think this has got some great reviews what i do is have a look at the different description and you can see how they've uh, added these little stars and uh, icons which is uh, emojis which is really really good as well we scroll down here it's in children's books on the body, children's personal hygiene books. It's ranked 13, 15,674. So it's a great little niche to get into. You can actually look at some photos of the book inside, proper brushing techniques, tooth jokes. You can see the illustrations and the way that they've written the book. Let's go back a couple, see how it's been put together. I must be dreaming, Piper cried, at seeing Toothy by her side. My name is Toothy, I'm your friend, it's time to make old habits end. That's the front cover of the book. You can see another illustration, it's a much better illustration than that one. You can see the back cover, so you can get a lot of information just from these reviews. Scroll down further, and you can see the reviews. It's always good to have a look through these reviews and see how they've been put together. So we scroll back up. It's one area of children's book publishing that I think could have a lot of potential. Remember, when you're doing this research, it's important to have those two tools, KD Spy and Publisher Rocket. As I've mentioned in other videos, I'll leave the information in the description below. But if you happen to purchase either KD Spy or Publisher Rocket, use my links, you'll get a free course. So it's up to you. You might already have those two software programs and you can just go ahead and do your own niche research uh, and use Publisher Rocket. But there's a great little idea for you to get into a children's book niche that you may not have explored before looks popular there are some books in there that you could create and i think that it has the potential if you create a great book market it correctly get those initial reviews and sales and then go from there so hopefully that helps you short video but just shows you how quickly you can then pick up different niche ideas from interests of your own or experience that you've had yourself to get into the children's book publishing area i hope all that helps
And just a short note before we finish, remember if you do happen to purchase Publisher Rocket or KD Spy using my links in the description below, there is a $99 course which will be discounted to $0 for you if you happen to use my links. Further details can be noted below. Uh, remember also, if you need further uh, resources for self-publishing, refer to my website, which is globalselfpublishing.com. And I look forward to creating a new video in the future that will help you with your self-publishing. So until then, goodbye.